Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using VDMs for sculpting in the new Blender 3.5 release. And in case you don't know what they are, VDMs are a powerful tool that can help you create intricate and detailed 3D dimensional displacements, as opposed to displacements in non-direction like alpha brushes. And in this tutorial, we're going to be using artificial intelligence to generate alpha textures which will help us create VDMs easily. I'm also going to be showing you step by step how to use these VDMs for sculpting. Then we're going to be working on a 3D model that you can download from a link I left in the description so we can do it together. And as to why we're making alpha textures, this will make it easier for us to create more complex shapes for our VDM brushes quicker. You can also use your alpha brushes or make them from existing textures using Materialize. We're basically going to be using them as a guide for the sculpting process, so you should definitely not skip over that step. But first I'm going to go over the basics on how to create the VDMs and its different settings. Then I'm going to jump into the sculpting process, then use the alpha brushes generated by the AI. So whether you're new to Blender or an experienced 3D artist looking to up your sculpting game, this tutorial is definitely for you. First I'm going to need you to download the demo file from the link that I left in the description down below, and open the baking demo. Inside the baking demo, I need you to enter the sculpt mode. And here, I'm going to make a small shape that I'm going to use. This could be either a scale, a uh, claw, anything that you want to insert into your character. And after you're done modifying it, we're going to bake this shape into the VDM bake texture node. Select the node, then go into the render setting and press bake. You're going to be left with this texture, and notice how it has three colors, just like a normal map, because it's in three dimensions. I'm going to save this texture and use it in the other demo file, which allows me to use it as a VDM brush. Use OpenEXR as the file type, and codec has to be set to ZIP, then save it to whatever directory that you want. After that's done with, open the VDM sculpting demo file. You're gonna be meant with this, but not with the horns that I made. You can make whatever character that you want, just make sure you're using the draw brush. And remember to assign the VDM that we baked from the textures tab. And see how much difference I'm making with a small VDM? I'm gonna take some time, maybe put it over his eyebrows to give him a more demonic look. Now let's move on to generating the alpha brush that will help us make even more complex VDMs. I'm going to use the depth model in my stable diffusion and set it to NK. And this will create basically a depth map that I can use as an alpha brush. Alternatively, you can use Materialize for any texture that you made yourself or that you found online or took a picture of. And if you do not want to use either of these options, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can download a readily made alpha brush. However, note that using an alpha brush is crucial for the next step, so do not skip over using it. Whatever way that you choose to make your alpha textures, go back to the demo file once you're ready and assign the texture that you made to the draw brush. You can either use stencil or 3D, but I prefer using 3D because it gives me more accurate placements. But please bear in mind that you need really good sculpting skills and a good grasp on the basics in order to utilize this method fully, because the alpha texture only acts as an outline to whatever organic shape that you want to make. And notice how the eye is protruding upwards in one direction only. This is going to need some refining if I'm going to use it as a VDM. Of course, a good alpha texture makes things way easier. And here's a good result of an organic structure that I got using only the displacement modifier and a little finish in the sculpting mode. Now let's bake it and see how good they look on my character. And I must say, these came out very well for the low amount of effort that I put into them. And VDM brushes have always been used in ZBrush for a very long time. They're not meant to replace the sculpting process, just make your life easier once you're done blocking out the character. I'll leave a link to some readily made VDM brushes for Blender so you can download them and try them for yourself in the description of this video. And as far as I'm concerned, there isn't a sure way to generate VDMs the same way we did with the alpha brush. 
but be sure I'll cover it once there is. So why don't you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all the new Blender features once they release. And so that's basically it for today's tutorial on using VDMs for sculpting in the new Blender release. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and if not, tell me what I could have done better. If you have any questions or feedback, leave them in a comment down below. I love hearing from my viewers, and I'll do my best to respond to your comments as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out my other Blender tutorials and resources on my channel, and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.